I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is the tropical forecast just for YouTube. I'm glad you found us here on YouTube and if you're new, well, we're here every day a little bit after 4 p.m. Always ready to dive in and talk a little bit about the tropics. So glad you've joined us. Overall, the good news is things were remaining quiet at the moment. We'll start with the Gulf of Mexico, where we have some high pressure that's sort of loitering around almost the center, as a matter of fact, and that's kind of squashing any sort of chances of any organized uh, showers and thunderstorm developing. A little bit of uh, trace of some showers that are weakening uh, just to the south of Louisiana. Now, whereas there's an interesting feature kind of happening right now, and I'll stress this spoiler alert here, nothing tropical really in nature, but it's definitely impacting certain regions, and that is uh, all of this moisture that you see here across Cuba and into the Bahamas, the central Bahamas. Uh, there is a lot of rain that has fallen and even more that is forecasted for this area where parts of Cuba have seen as much as 12 to 14 inches of rain. That's fairly isolated, but 10 to 12 inches wouldn't be uh, ruled out as uh, somewhat more average for some some of these areas here that kind of extends it to the central Bahamas as well, where they've seen it eight to 10 inches of rain, and they could kind of add that much more onto things for portions of Cuba, Cuba, another eight inches of rain, maybe even 10. Uh, so a lot of rain happening here and not in a tropical sense of a cyclone forming, but it is definitely some impacts for that part uh, of the uh, Atlantic Basin overall. But the message being from the National Hurricane Center for the next seven days, no tropical cyclone formation is expected. We are always glad to hear that messaging. So when we take a look at that sort of climatology of where we expect or historically where we see the numbers uh, form, we're still very early in the season, of course, in the June, and we're still seeing relatively low numbers would be expected. So we're kind of on track for where we'd expect to find an average season. Of course, the peak is going to be in the uh, September around September the 10th. Again, this is for the entire Atlantic Basin, depending on where you find yourself within that basin that might adjust for just a little bit, uh, several weeks here or there, depending on again where you are located. So we focus June on watching several key areas. One of those is the Gulf of Mexico. So when we see that high pressure ridge that's built in going to be at least least through Saturday, maybe even a little bit further. That's good news to know that this area is probably not going to see a whole lot of formation. The western portions of the Caribbean is another area that gets a close eye. Kind of that would be where I think now would be a good time to sort of watch. But as we mentioned, we're not really expecting anything. And you see all that rain that's happening up into the Bahamas, you know, again, stretching across Cuba. That's where we see a lot of showers. But there's not enough dynamics, at least, that will keep things to get organized into a tropical sense. So these are the key regions that are watched during the month of June. We'll continue to, of course, do that. We've already had one named storm uh, that was earlier a couple weeks ago. We had Arlene that we were watching in the Gulf of Mexico, pretty close to those areas that we were talking about. We'll be looking for that next tropical depression. Just a reminder, the next tropical depression that forms will be numbered three, even though we're just on our second letter, which would become Brett if it continues to form and organize. Quick reminder, of course, that you can find me on other social media platforms. I'm at John Dawson Fox 26. If you get a chance to connect on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, that would be fantastic. I do enjoy using Instagram to sort of post what's happening with some uh, hurricane preparedness. And then if you want to find me on YouTube, you have to search for meteorologist John Dawson. That's a typing mouthful. So look for that again. Meteorologist John Dawson is how you find me on YouTube. And of course, the Fox 26 weather app. Fantastic way to stay connected with what's happening here in Southeast Texas in the Houston area, but it works even if you're not in the Houston area. You can put in any zip code, get a 10 day forecast, and if you have the follow me function turned on, it'll keep you safe with alerts from the National Weather Service as well, depending on wherever you will be. Again, that's the Fox 26 weather app. Go to your favorite app store, get that downloaded today. And yes, we'll be back again tomorrow, even working on the weekends here at Fox 26 with our tropical update. A little bit after 4 p.m., we hope to see you then.